Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. This video is about access service in the user's menu. This service is one of the best features on Finti. Since Finti is web-based, business owners with multiple repairmen and salespeople don't need to spend a lot of money on hardware locks and networking among employees' computers. In Finti, the account holder, who is the manager of a company, store, or repair shop, can grant access to Finti for up to two of their employees besides themselves. However, if you need to grant access to more employees, you can contact our support team and increase access by paying a minor fee. The manager sets a username and password for each employee. Employees can then access Finti easily from anywhere and at any time using a computer, laptop, smartphone, tablet, and etc. as long as they have internet access. The manager can also control the visibility of services that the employees can see with a few simple clicks. For example, you can allow a repairman to see only the repair-related services while hiding accounting services, and salesmen or accountants can only see services related to their own roles. If your repairmen or salespeople work on a commission basis, you can easily set their sales and repair commissions as well. To do this, first add them in Finti using the user service in Users menu. Click New and fill out the form and then click on User Groups and change it to Repairman if you're creating an account for a repairman or salesman for a salesperson or personnel for other employees like receptionists or accountants who need to access Finti but aren't repairmen or salespeople. If you don't see these user groups in your account or need to create a new user group, go to the settings menu, select the user group, and click new to create a new user group. For more information, please watch the relevant video. Now let's go back to the user's menu again and create a new user. I won't fill out all the fields but I recommend you do and please keep in mind that fields with red lines are mandatory in any part of the software. And set user group as repairman. And now save. And as you see, the user is created and the user group is repairman. And now let's go to access to grant access to this repairman to be able to use Finti. As you see, all these fields have red lines, so it's mandatory to fill them out. Otherwise, save option won't work. Personal name is obvious, user group I just talked about. In the config homepage, you can control which page appears or opens when your employees enter Finti. And by clicking on it, you can set any of these pages based on the role of your employee in your store or repair shop. As this user is a repairman, ticket service in repair shop management menu would be best option for repairmen as they can easily issue repair tickets in ticket service. For cell phone number, as this is a tutorial video, I'm going to use a random number, but you make sure to write the exact phone number of your personnel. And then you can set a username and a password for your employee's account. If your employees work on monthly or weekly salaries and or commission based, you can set their sales and repair commission percentages here. This is a repairman, so let's say they work on 50% commission. But don't leave any box blank as save option won't work. If they don't work on commission, just write zero. Moving on to customize access. As you see, we have some options here too. You can check or uncheck any box you need. The first box needs to be checked for all employees you want to grant access. User can change items of invoices. By checking this box, you will allow this repairman to add or change items of invoices. Let me show you with an example. Let's check this box and save. As you see, there are eye icons here. By clicking on the eye icon of each employee, you can enter their panel or account. As you see, this is the account or panel I just created for this repairman. 
Now let me show you how this repairman can add or change items in invoices. This is the ticket service and these are the repair tickets that were issued. Let's click on insert invoice, product list, and add a product, or maybe two. So this means that this employee or repairman can add or change items of invoices, clients' invoices. Now let's go back. And to be able to go back to your own account, meaning the manager's account, you can click on this arrow option. And as you see, we're back to the manager's account. Let's go back now. And if you uncheck this box and then save it, this employee would not be able to add or change items of invoices. The next option is that the repairman can only see the devices that are assigned to them and they cannot see all the devices brought in for repair to your repair shop. The next option, adding financial entries on invoices, allows a repairman to handle money settlement and client payments when they repair a device and issue an invoice. If you prefer only accountants to handle the financial entries, you can leave this box unchecked. Show purchase price column when issuing sales invoice. If you don't want your employees to see purchase price of items, you can uncheck this box. User or your personnel can see cell phone numbers. If you don't want your personnel to see client phone numbers, you can make them invisible by unchecking this option. Let's uncheck this and save. And let's see how phone numbers appear in this repairman's account. As you see, cell phone numbers don't appear completely and four digits are invisible. And the last option, enabling two-step verification via SMS enhances software security. By checking this box, your employee will need to enter a code sent via text message in addition to their username and password in order to access the software. Signature here you can upload the repairman's signature so that it appears under the invoices they issue. And finally, you can limit the services your personnel can see on their panels. By unchecking different services, you can make them invisible for each of your personnel and customize the software according to their role in your company. For example, if you don't want your repairman to see financial services, simply uncheck them and save. Now let's go and see. And as you see, those services don't appear here, but all the accounting services are visible to the manager. This service offers many features, allowing you to grant different access levels to your personnel, avoiding additional costs like purchasing multiple accounts, hardware locks, networking computers, and etc. I recommend watching this video carefully and if you have any questions or issues, please contact the support team for assistance. Thank you so much for watching this video and goodbye.